bit more of a pause and with a little bit more detail. Bear Tutorials, Making a Voltage Divider. Hi, I'm Matt. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy voltage divider with a pad of bare paint and an Arduino. This is one of the fundamental ways to use the material, so it's a great way to get started with it. Um, we're going to be showing you a lot of the cool ways to make more of this simple interaction, so let's get started. So to make the voltage divider, the first thing you're going to need is a jar of bare paint. Then you'll need an Arduino, um, an LED, a couple of little uh, jump wires or some wires that you can connect directly to the Arduino, uh, a USB cable, and a paintbrush. Okay, so don't be afraid of this. This is the way that you would see a voltage divider on a circuit diagram. And I'm going to show you this so you get an idea of the basic components. It's got three components. Um, first is what you'll see plus 5V, that means 5 volts DC that's coming in on the top. That's from one pin on the Arduino. On the bottom, we've got ground. That goes to another pin on the Arduino. And then on the right hand side we have wiper and you can see it says analog zero. That's because it goes to the analog zero pin on the Arduino. Now that big shape in the middle is actually the strip of bare paint. And as we move the wiper up and down, we're going to get different values coming into that analog port. And we'll see how that works in a second. So it doesn't really matter what size this strip is. In fact, uh, the interaction gets more interesting depending on um, the kind of shape of it. So definitely play with the shape. But for right now we're just going to use a big long simple strip of paint. So the next step is to actually connect the uh, wires to the Arduino. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this one, I picked red, uh, just to make it simple. It's going to go into 5 volts. Then we're going to connect the yellow one here to ground. It doesn't matter which of those two ground pins you connect it to. And then finally we're going to connect the big long green one to analog zero, or A0. Okay, so now we've finished uh, painting our strip and it's almost dry. And we've attached the, uh, the wires to the Arduino. What I'm going to do now is actually put the wires onto the strip of the paint. So I'm just going to use a couple people, pieces of masking tape to put it down. Of course we've also got another tutorial on the site that shows you some cool ways to connect with the paint and you know you should definitely use those but just for simplicity we're gonna go like this. So now that's all attached. Um, I've got 5 volts on one end of the strip, ground on the other just like that diagram I showed you in the beginning and this is the wiper and so once we upload the program when we move the wiper back and forth we're gonna get different numbers coming into the computer. Okay, so now we'll just make sure that we plug the rest of the Arduino in. And in the Arduino program, make sure you've selected the correct board. Here we're using an Uno. Um, and then also make sure you select the correct serial port. So I've started a new sketch and I've just copied the code straight off the page from our site and I'll paste it in here. Um, then I'm going to verify it. Hopefully it'll work. So it worked. So I'm going to upload it to the Uno. and. As soon as it's uploaded, that's it. Um, leave it plugged in because obviously it's powered off um, off of the device and you, in a minute you'll be wanting to read off the serial port as well. Right, so now that it's all assembled, um, we're going to start actually playing with the wiper. And uh, one of the ways to figure out if the wiper is actually doing anything is to open up the serial port. Now you can see that when I put it near the red wire, the number is quite high. When I move it all the way down, the number gets quite quite low, or a bit lower at least. So now you've got a working voltage divider, and in one sense it's kind of a one-dimensional location device. Uh, I know exactly where I am along this strip of paint. So I hope that your voltage divider is up and running and uh, that it's worked okay for you. Um, if you do anything cool with it, please send us some photos. In later tutorials we're going to be showing you how to use this as, um, as an interface for a lot of different devices. So keep checking back at bearconductive.com forward slash tutorials. See you next time.